Next story I wanted to talk about is about Stephen Dollins. You guys probably know him as the Pokey Man, if you will. I'm sure you've probably seen this clip. Let me just show you a, a short excerpt. Pokemon. Pocket Monster. The Spiral. And it stands for what? Male fertility. It's supposed to be able to mesmerize and hypnotize its enemies. This character over here is called Mewtwo. Every time that you see Mewtwo, he's in this pose. Three fingers. It means hail Satan. Cute little one. Everybody, okay, everybody go, oh, come on. His tail. It's a lightning bolt. And it's a satanic Z. Okay, that's, that's entirely too much. We made it 29 seconds in. I couldn't go any further. That's Stephen Dollins. I wanted to give you a little reminder of who he is because he's been going off the rails pretty hard. First of all, I wanted to let you guys know that I posted a community post on my YouTube channel recently asking for you guys to send me stuff about him. And you guys definitely delivered. You sent me a whole bunch of clips of him talking about Magic the Gathering and talking about being a high priest in the, in, in the Church of Satan and all kinds of bizarre stuff. And I intend to cover that on Twitch soon and on my Telltale Unfiltered channel, maybe even on my main channel. But for now, I just wanted to kind of go through his social media, see what he's up to, right? Just kind of glance through, see what he's up to. So what's he got going on? He doesn't tweet very often. The last tweet that he sent have to keep going, going, staying hidden, staying safe. Only way. Can't stop moving. Uh, that's weird. That was December 9th, 2021. So, four months ago. Somebody says, hey, are you okay? He says, no, in all caps. He says, why? What happened? And Stephen Dolan's responds, liars on Facebook and liars in my face, plus COVID fights. What? All caps. He didn't always type in all caps. It's not like his keyboard is broken and, and the caps lock key is stuck in. I mean, look, this last tweet here was lowercase. So I know his keyboard is functioning, but uh, nearly every other tweet past that one is all in caps. Liars on Facebook. Horus I, reptile I. Taco Bell is satanic confirmed. That's what he posted. Horus I, reptile I. Taco Bell satanic confirmed. I love this, dude. This is so interesting to, like, watch him just kind of disintegrate into, like, a conspiracy theorist and, and it just fall to pieces. It's, it's sad, honestly. I feel bad for the guy. I wish he would get help. Really. He obviously genuinely needs help. But, boy, is it interesting to watch his disintegration. We are watching the descent into madness continue. Steven, with men like Stan Johnson, Bill Shobelin, et al., following the cult of Trump, we need to hear more from you. Steven says, you're right. Bad few weeks, better ahead than worse, than worse still, but better soon. I don't know what that means, but thank you, Steven. I'm supposed to celebrate. Had a rough week, but God is always in control, even when I don't have control of my own body. Did you lose control of your own body? Some of it. Uh, as we go down, I think he actually had a stroke or something, so he did actually lose control of some of his body, like his arm, or maybe his heart attack, I don't remember. We'll see. The Kane Gang. You're never ready for the kind of news we are grappling with this morning, but we have no choice but to seek and find God's strength and comfort to deal. Hashtag Herman Cain. I believe this is when Herman Cain died of COVID at a Trump rally, or from a Trump rally. Stephen Dollins responds, Thank God this child-sacrificing, Satan-worshipping, monster is finally dead god has his vengeance this day and it is glorious he will burn in hell for his numerous sins herman cain dude is on trump's side presumably and stephen dollins is losing his mind on herman cain wow now we are seeing the descent into madness progress getting used to my left arm again but you only need one heart to follow the lord amen I, this is the reason why I assume he had a stroke or something, getting use, getting use of my left arm again. Or maybe a heart attack, one of the two. That's what I'm picking up, but I don't know. I'm not a medical expert. Response to the Kane gang again, once again, Herman Kane. He says, hopefully God has finally taken his wrath out on Herman and COVID has ended his Satanist reign of terror for good. Good riddance. The descent into madness continues. How many more children will you sacrifice? How many more satanic will you conduct at your rallies? You are going to kill everyone connected to Jeffrey Epstein. Then you're going to kill me too because I know everything you did. Tweeted that at Real Donald Trump, July 23rd, 2020. 
It's getting crazier. Someone needs to take your child sacrificing, Satan worshiping, trafficking trash out, and maybe God has finally done it with COVID. A response to Herman Cain's Twitter account. Not at all, just just blessed by the blood of Christ, he says, in response to a tweet that was removed. This account is one to talk, considering what Herman was involved in with Epstein and his island. Hopefully Herman has finally faced God's final judgment for his participation in the and sacrifices in Tulsa and elsewhere. More unhinged. We're getting more unhinged. Sir, time is ticking. They will swarm the ranch soon. Please, sir. This is to Kanye West. While there's still time to get safe, I have a safe house prepared for you. Please contact through DM or Telegram for security. God bless. To Kanye West. This guy is tweeting at Kanye West that he has a safe house for Kanye, and they're getting ready to swarm Kanye's mansion, and he wants Kanye to come to his safe house. Please, sir, while there is still time to get safe, I have a safe house prepared for you. Please contact. God bless. They will lock you up, too. If we don't hurry, God is on our side. He goes on to tweet at Kanye multiple times, more times than that. Please, sir, while there is still time to get safe, I have a safe house prepared for you. Please contact. God bless. I have a safe house prepared for you. Please contact. God bless. He just tweets that over and over and over and over to Kanye West. The guy is unhinged from reality. But honestly, what more did we expect from this guy? These pocket monsters are creatures that inhabit the world with humans. Got to catch them all. You don't need mom. You don't need dad. You don't need grandparents. You don't need aunts and uncles, you don't need school, and you probably don't even need a church because you're a master. This rap song that's played over again, and it says, I will travel across the land searching far and wide, each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. And then it's enchanted to them. Gotta catch them all. Here's the next character. This is Misty. Look at this. If this was actually clear, you'd see that that's a halter top. It stops right there and she's got short shorts on. She's headstrong and stubborn, constantly arguing with Ash. Typical woman. Did we expect more from this guy? Honestly? I I really do feel bad for him. I hope he pulls it together one of these days, but this isn't a new situation. This has been going on for years. This guy is suffering terribly, and I really deeply, truly hope he finds help. His bio says, ex-high priest in the Church of Satan. That's not true. The Church of Satan has only had a couple of uh, high priests in their history, and neither of them were him. Author of Under the Spell of Harry Potter, Saved by Christ, Ordained Prophet, Karate Enthusiast, Former Pro Wrestler. That's Stephen Dollins for you. Seems like an awfully nice guy, but he deeply, truly needs help. Really does. I feel for him. I hope he gets the help he needs.